All right, good morning, guys. So, decided to do a vlog this weekend, and uh, I don't know. The way I do everything is I get everything set in a pile, and then I load my truck versus doing one thing at a time. And uh, tomorrow's race is going to be super exciting because we're doing the Tin Roof Flyers hair scramble, and it's only an hour away from my house, so super excited about the short drive. It's not too often that I get anything under two hours, so... Um, yeah, so I got everything set out. I got my cooler, my chair, my awning, obviously my gear bag, gas can, the bike, and I have my helmet, which never leaves the back of the back seat of the truck. And then my, uh, my Jersey and my pants. So, um, then after I get done loading this, I'm going to show you guys what I make for breakfast. I know not everybody can eat breakfast. I have a few friends that I have one friend that can't eat anything at all so he actually does a whole race or if we're going trail riding he does a whole tr a whole ride a whole race or a whole trail ride and he won't eat till later in the day i'm not that dude i gotta eat on my way to the venue so i'll go in after i'm done loading and showing you guys what i'm gonna make for breakfast but yeah let's get this stuff loaded all right guys time to load the truck uh, I load it the night before so that when I get up, all I got to do is take a shower, get dressed, and, you know, start heading to the venue. Everything's already double, triple checked. So let's load this thing in three, two, one. <sighs> Look at that. It worked. All right, guys. Everything's loaded. Man, that was easy. I'm going to have to start doing that from now on. So bikes in, by the way absolutely love this carrier best carrier oh, see if it will focus best carrier made moto tote went to that last year game changer trucks loaded now it's time to go in get my breakfast ready for the morning because i make overnight oats that's why i'm doing it so soon i'll show you guys how i do that and then i'll see you guys in the morning all right guys my overnight oats for race day actually i eat this every morning because it's pretty healthy for you it's better than obviously a donut or mcdonald's and uh it keeps you satiated for hours so overnight oats any brand i got the myers brand i go with the dimatized iso 100 fruity pebbles it's really lean and it actually tastes just like you're eating the cereal and i got my chia seeds i got strawberries that i got to get out still but try not to make this long so half a cup is a serving of the oats one scoop of protein and I do well if you look on the container it says two tablespoons is a serving of chia I always go just a skosh more why not right more is better and then I got the Fairlife milk because I can't have lactose as lactose free. And that's not quite enough. So I'm not using the bowl that I normally use because it's dirty right now. So and then you just mix this up to the consistency you want, which I poured too much milk in there. Actually, I didn't because overnight that'll really the oats will really absorb in the oatmeal so that'll actually be a really thick thick concoction in the morning and i get my frozen strawberries put a good handful in there and uh hopefully the camera can see that'll be my breakfast for the morning actually this looks real runny, but that will thicken up to like a solid meal. And it's, you know, you've seen everything I put in it. It's, it sticks to your gut, but it's not heavy and it'll keep you satiated for hours. And that's just what I eat before. Uh, I usually eat about three to four hours before the race. So anyways, now everything's all set, packed up. I'm going to watch the motocross races and I'll see you guys when, uh, we get on the road tomorrow. All right, we'll see you guys there. All right, we're here. Man, you gotta love that short 
one hour drive on race day you can't beat that so I'm gonna get in here go park or find a place to park pay my fees and everything and then uh, I'm gonna get set up put you guys on a time lapse and then I will see you guys on the starting line Alright, as you guys can see, I'm almost dead last on the uh, track, or off the starting line I should say, but yeah, what should I say about this race? It was, it was bittersweet, it was the worst finish I've had this year, but at the same time, I had the most amount of fun I've had. I absolutely loved this course, and it was... Uh, Quite a drastic change from, you know, the last race we did was on Father's Day at uh, Valley Trail Riders. As tight as you can possibly imagine, technical. And this course was the complete opposite. We had a lot of grass track, um, a lot of, you know, track like what you're seeing right now. We had, if I can remember right, four or five just huge straightaways. I'm talking like fifth six gear pin and oh wow was it a lot of fun I just I had so much fun but anyways uh, you noticed I got a really bad start and then once we get into the woods uh, which is in it's actually in like six or seven minutes from now but uh, once we got into the woods I got taken out pretty good on a corner uh, not really sure the guy just made an aggressive pass and it was so slippery I think he just slid into me and then I I went down because I was you know just in some light play so got stuck under the bike for a minute and by that point my whole class was gone and I'm not good enough or fast enough to be able to catch back up on a course like this because if you're there you know uh, this was the fastest course I've probably ever ridden and you know definitely it'll be the fastest course that we'll ride all year for sure so uh, yeah once once my whole class got away it was kind of just trying to settle in um, extremely slippery in the woods because they had like a big storm Saturday morning or Saturday night, one of the two, and uh, it was extremely greasy in the woods, so it took me a good lap or two. Actually, it took me two laps before I kind of trusted my, my tires and just trusted myself, basically. But, um, yeah, it was a phenomenal course. I. You know, I know we're only halfway through the season right now, but I'll just throw that out, throw this out there right now that this is the course of the year for me. So far, this has been my favorite course, and you know, I like generally I say I like the more tighter single track type stuff, but this just had it all. Man, it had an awesome grass track. Um, the portion of the track that we rode was, you know real beginner friendly for someone like me the straightaways were killer you know I, I haven't even had my bike that fast ever so it was just a lot of fun but yeah I ended up and I'm gonna wait to see what the scoring says tomorrow because there was a a few things that just didn't add up like after I went down in the woods when that guy takes me out which you guys will see several minutes from now um, I ended up catching a guy from my class and actually passing him I never seen him pass me back and he ended up like top five and I ended up like 13th so I'm gonna wait to see if the scoring like shakes out a little bit because I never seen him pass me back but you know who knows he might have he might have got me on like the uh, 
enduro course because the first few laps I took the bypass and then I finally started taking the enduro course and I realized how much uh, blew a corner here I, I realized how much time that you know I lost by taking the bypass but whatever you live in anywhere at the end of the day I had so much fun that's what I'm in it for no damage to the bike no damage to myself and it was just a blast so uh, yeah that wipeout is coming up in a few minutes somewhere in the woods and I have to bleep out a little section because I was dropping some bombs on the dude even though after I got back and looked at the footage <clears throat> originally I thought he just came in like out of control with either no brakes or just or just like he lost control and I thought he punted me like pretty hard but but after watching the replay I realized you know he definitely got into me and we were both on some slippery mud but it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was so I had to uh, censor my choice words for him and I have no idea who it was but it's racing so I I actually love that part of racing you know not when somebody intentionally takes you out but I don't mind a little bit of rubbing rubbing's racing it's all part of the game and yeah after getting back and and looking at the footage I realized it wasn't as blatant as what I thought so you know I guess we'll just chalk it up to me being a squid you know it is what it is it's just the reality of it so um, as far what did I go over so a lot of the straightaways were killer which you'll see later in the video uh, the track was cool the grass track was awesome here's one straightaway and yeah just a phenomenal course so I don't really know this was the tin how do you say it the tin roof flyers hair scramble so this club you know they do a lot with a little because we we're running like a lot of ditch lines and like um, farm field and, and stuff like that and they just I don't know like I said I think they put together the, the course of the year for me so um, kudos to those guys oh I think here comes my Yep, so there you've seen it. That was the, uh, the little that incident. <laughs> See, and I thought it was worse during the race, but it wasn't that bad. I'm just, I'm just not that good of a rider. So, but yeah, um, pretty much I already went over everything I thought about the course. Uh, I felt like the middle laps, I rode really well. But like I said, this course is so fast. You make a few mistakes and your whole class can be gone. And that's kind of just what happened on uh, this race today for me anyway. So I still had a lot of fun. There was one lap. I don't know if it was my third or fourth lap. I made a bunch of mistakes. I want to say I went down like three or four times. And uh, I know you guys probably won't be able to tell, but when you're like deeper in the woods, it was super greasy and a lot of roots. So like, you just had to be real preci precise on the throttle. But uh, yeah, for for not finishing where I wanted to finish, I I felt really good. So, anyways, I owe a huge thanks to Mosto Fitness. You guys have heard me say it the last few videos the link will be pinned down in the comment section that link will get you one free week and pretty convinced you'll go with the plan after that week once you see it, what it's about it's like I said before it's for racers by racers it's completely changed the way I ride and how I feel towards the end of the race so big shout out to Mosto Fitness and fun fact I actually met somebody by the starting line, which I'm sorry I can't remember your name because I think it was the first time I met you, but he actually signed up 
and it is actually doing the program now so thank you and uh yeah with that being said i'll let you guys watch the rest of the video and if you're still here hit that like button it helps a lot and yeah now we got a whole month off and i'll see you guys in august at the what is it polka dots yeah i think it's polka dots so see you guys there peace out Too much off, but my bad.
back up to the back end of my class because right in front of me is Stonko. Slippery. You can't even put your tire on the edge at all.
hard you can't give it any throttle.
They're not, but... Refocus, baby. Refocus! Cause you suck! Lewis sucks and he knows it!
past this guy. 